it's Monday. Um, hair in a ponytail. I'm heading over to my mom's house to um, do some stuff, um, check on her garden and everything. And uh, I need to take a shower when I get home. But um, anyway, uh, and at the end of the last vlog video, toward the end, I showed you that it was raining really hard in Flagstaff. Well, it rained. We didn't even see half of, I mean, we just knew, wow, it's, you know, raining hard and it's raining for a long time. Apparently it rained somewhere, well, depending on where you were in Flagstaff, between one and a half and two and a half inches in an hour. There were, I'm going to pop in some pictures here while I'm telling you this. There were places in Flagstaff that were seriously flooded. I mean, um, they had flash flooding, and I don't know that anybody's houses were flooded, but there were, there were roads that were closed, and um, I was even thinking of going over to check on my mom's garden yesterday, but then I thought, well, that's going to be stupid because it's raining. Um, but I would not have been able to get to her house the way I would normally go because that road was closed because there was so much um, flooding through this one intersection. Um, so it was absolutely nuts, as you can see from these pictures. So I don't know that it's supposed to rain today, but it is monsoon season, so it could. It might be nice if it didn't today because uh, the ground is clearly saturated. Um, but we're, we are supposed to get rain for the next week. There's like 60 to 80% chance pretty much every day for the next week. And then it doesn't look like there's much after that. So I hope that there's just going to be like this short reprieve instead of, you know, like the monsoon being over hope that's not the case because um, we sure could use some more rain but apparently the other day last Wednesday apparently they opened the forest so the restrictions in the forest have been lifted which means that um, people can camp just out in random areas instead of um, just in campgrounds and you know before it was like even if you camped in a campground you couldn't make a fire and the only kind of cooking you could do is if you had like a Coleman stove. So, but you couldn't use coal or wood or anything like that. And they were just, you know, taking serious precautions. Um, but now the forest is open because everything is super wet. And John and I were just talking this morning about how we're probably the end of this week, week we're gonna go mushroom hunting and look for some of those um, wild mushrooms that we like to get. There are two different kinds that we are comfortable hunting for because we, we know that we know how to identify them. Um, one is the lobster mushroom and the other is the bolete mushroom and the bolete is the one that is the coveted mushroom to us because it's like a porcini and so when we have really good um, bolete years we get tons of them and I basically just run my um, food dehydrator non-stop and just you know dehydrate as many as possible they're super expensive if you go to the grocery store and find them and they do have them at some of our grocery stores locally um, you pay six dollars for one ounce of dried bolete's um, which is crazy. So, so we go crazy for them. You have to get them just, um, they're actually, they grow at the base of ponderosa pine trees. They grow under the pine needles and they will eventually get gigantic and come above the pine needles. But by that time they are, um, spoiled they'll look yellow or green underneath. And so you have to get them, you have to basically look for pine needles, like a little lump in the pine needles and then dig underneath them. And then you find, it's still a pretty good sized mushroom, but um, but you have to look for them at that stage. Otherwise they're not good to harvest. And even if you were to pick them at that stage and they weren't yellow or green, they usually have worms in them by that um, time. Everything loves bullet mushrooms including squirrels and so we also have to compete with the squirrels because they know how to find them at just the right time too 
So uh, we're gonna check it out this Friday. This Friday may be a little too early. I'm making some tea right now. It's a little teapot thing and then this is just a thing that infuses the flavor. Um, the kind of tea that I'm making is this we got in Germany. Um, it's even in German, but it's basically a strawberry tea. And then I am making a pasta salad and it has cucumber, it's really random, it doesn't, the recipe doesn't like tell how much of things you're supposed to put in there. Monica, stop bothering the kitty. Um, anyway, so there's bell peppers, uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, olives, and then you just take any old Italian dressing. And so I made sure I got one that didn't have any cheese in it. Um, so, and then um, in the Italian dressing, you mix in a little garlic powder, and if you want to, you can put in nutritional yeast, which gives kind of, people say that it tastes like cheese, that it takes the place of cheese if you're trying to eat vegan. It does not taste like cheese, but it does add a depth of flavor. So I put that in this bowl here, which I will dump on top of the rotini pasta when it's finished probably about done so there it is that's what it looks like when it's finished also this week i'm going to be making um enchiladas that are stuffed with spinach and hominy and also this super creamy vegan gnocchi hi you guys i'm heading out to um take care of my mom's garden um actually there won't be really anything to do today on the garden i was just there on monday and uh it's wednesday now um but today is the day for me to water her plants that are inside the house, so I'm gonna take care of that. But it's getting ready um, to rain. There have been a few sprinkles on the windshield and a lot of lightning and thunder, but I was glancing over at the mountain. I can't show it to you right now. Um, I'll see if I can get a shot of it from my mom's deck. Hopefully it'll be clear enough for you to be able to see. Um, it's kind of hazy looking, but there is snow on the mountain. Yes, snow on the mountain. Um, it is, the mountain is at an elevation of 11,000 feet, so it's pretty cold up there. A lot of times in the, well, in the summertime, they run the ski lift and people can just do a sky ride. And so I think you pay eight or nine bucks and, and you get to just ride the lift to the top and you can get off at the top and walk around and look around and they have park rangers, forest service people at the top who will answer questions about what you're seeing in the distance and it's kind of a cool thing. John and I usually will do it um, every couple of years and um, if we have people come in from out of town. The last time I did it was with my dad. That was, that was probably three years ago maybe yeah and he was a little bit more mobile at that time but um anyway um and then and then you take the the sky ride back down and they have um the lodge has its um little cafe thing open and um and so it's just kind of a fun thing to do in the summertime but so. it's always chilly at the top in fact when people are going to go do that we always say first of all bring an umbrella because it might rain on you and second of all um wear a jacket because it's going to be cold at the top and so you know flagstaff is already at an elevation of seven thousand feet and then you go up to eleven thousand and it gets quite cold um, anyway, so yeah, there is snow up on the mountain and it'll probably be gone by <clears throat> tomorrow, but it's just so strange that, um, to, to look up there and see that. Well, as it turns out, I can't show you the picture of the mountain from my mom and dad's house because, um, well, they used to have a peak view, but clearly some trees have grown up since I last looked for it. Um, so we can see one mountain from here, but not the tall mountain. So um, I'll have to see if I can get another shot while I'm at a stoplight or something like that. Um, anyway, or I could go out onto the top of the apartment complex. Anyway, the other thing I wanted to tell you is our apartment complex had a pet of the month contest and um, people, you know, put up pictures on Instagram you know of their pets and the winner gets a bark box which is like a 
you know, like a monthly box that you get or every couple of months or whatever that has treats and toys and stuff. And Monica won. So I'm supposed to bring her down to the apartment office this afternoon and they're going to take her picture with the bark box and then put her picture up in the office and all of that. So, um, yeah, she's the cutest thing in the world. So I am super excited that she won. So I just finished getting my hair done, went back to my old color, as you can see, um, which still has a little bit of red in it because, you know, she basically just did a weave and put in a dark color that's sort of the same color as my natural color, and then she put in a lighter color, um, and then, of course, that red is still in there and will have to stay in there until it grows out, um, which is fine. Um, and then she trimmed, trimmed up my hair took a couple inches off the bottom and um, took off a lot of the part of my hair where um, you know I just got a lot of broken ends on my hair because I colored it you know I, I recolored my hair two weeks after I originally had it done so it kind of damaged it so um, anyway so um, got it all fixed up and um, I am now going to head over to the church office where I'm gonna um, film an announcement video. We have a, an announcement video almost every week that just sort of tells people what's going on at the church. And I am one of the people who um, does those videos. So that's where I'm headed. Okay, so I'm over at the church and it has just been pouring. It's actually eased up. It was hailing a minute ago and there's like, look at this, there's like a river in the parking lot. I already finished filming my videos, but I'm not leaving right now. This is ridiculous. So um, I just got home and it's about five miles away from where the church um, office was. And it's, it's not even wet here. It's not even raining, but it is moving this way. Um, and I don't know if I told you this, but over there, um, it was hailing for a while and it hailed so hard that it set off my car alarm. So it doesn't look like my car took any dents, but it's kind of hard to see. Um, it was small hail, um, but hail nonetheless. I mean, small meaning like probably this big enough to set off my car alarm with the car being wet it's kind of hard to tell so I'll have to wait and see but I, th I think it's fine anyway I don't know if you can hear that but thunder winds blowing that storm that I was just in that was so crazy is making its way right well, now the storm has reached my place over here the streets were dry when I first got here but it is coming down hard It's tailing a second. Oh no, it's tailing now. Yeah. Decided to get myself a little afternoon cup of coffee. There's like a little clubhouse kind of thing um, in this complex, and um, they have a nice sitting area and all that. But they have this coffee maker with the best coffee, and so um, it's only one o'clock in the afternoon. So I figured on this rainy day that I would go get myself a nice tasty cup of coffee. Hi you guys, um, John and I decided we would go out mushroom hunting. We don't know if any are gonna be around, but we've certainly had enough rain that we may. So we are um, in our special spot where we hunt for mushrooms and we'll see. Um, I went to my mom's this morning, her garden got pummeled with hail, um, knocked a lot of tomatoes off the plants, broke branches, made holes in leaves of squash plants. I'll pop in some pictures for you. I think it's still early enough in the summer that it will recover. The tomatoes will recover. I don't know if the squash plants will, but anyway, if we get some mushrooms, I will show you. Well, it looks like we are about, um, about at least a week early looking for mushrooms because um, there aren't even any little poisonous mushrooms growing around. The, the ground is definitely wet and there's moss, but usually when um, the season is right for harvesting the kind of edible mushrooms we're looking for, usually 
there's um, just a bunch of all different kinds of mushrooms, mostly ones that are poisonous, and there's just nothing. So, um, did you find something? Here's some mushrooms, but they're not. Where? Right here. Oh Usually yeah. Would, we would see a lot more of them. There's some teeny ones here. Well, I guess that's a good sign. Yeah. Um, that we're maybe getting ready. Those would be the kind that we do not want to harvest. Um, do you want to keep walking then? No. There's okay. nothing. Yeah, I think we're about a, we're probably a week too early. All right. So we we just went and had lunch, and then we decided that we would go up on the mountain. As you can see that in the distance. Because if we go up a little higher, we may find that there are some mushrooms up there where it's a little cooler. Okay, so even though Flagstaff is not a tiny town, I mean, it's it's 60,000 people, um, it, it feels smaller because it feels cozier than that, but but this was just so interesting. We're, we're up on the mountain right now, and we pulled in on this one road that goes off to a camping area, and we got out to look to see if there were mushrooms, and there are not. And as we're getting back in the car, this truck turns onto the road we're on and stops, and we look and it's a friend of ours. And he's out kind of scouting for a hunting trip that he has, what, in another month or something? So so anyway, there's just our friend. I'm like, wait, did you know we were here? Did you see us drive? He goes, no, I just turned on here and there you were. So, um, so I just kind of like that, that we, you know, frequently run into people we know. So this area we're in right now is primarily aspen trees. So we are not gonna find the edible mushrooms that we're looking for because they grow at the base of ponderosa pine trees um, but we got out because you can see the path here it's pretty damp we're just looking to see if there are any mushrooms at all even poisonous ones i'm just not seeing any are you john no. which says to me we're early mm -hmm. 